Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Abhishek and now today we are going to discuss about some tricky C questions which are generally asked in your interviews and most of us don't know these answers. Let's see. Let's see our first question. Uh, in this question we are given uh, integer variable before the printf statement. What will happen if we will compile this? Let's see whether there will be a compilation error or it will give some kind of message or it will give some answer let's see what's the answer you can see it has given the output as 5 5 kaise aaya ab ye samajhte actually the print return type of printf statement is the number of characters inside the printf statement so here we can see a b c d e there are five characters so a has taken the value 5 we can change we can check it once again let's enter my name she can now let's see what happens it will give answer as 8 as it has 8 characters so this is one of the tricky question which most of us didn't knew about so let's see the next uh, question question we are asked to write our name without using the semicolon at the end so what we'll do is we'll write the printf statement inside the if statement and we'll give here the body of if statement if you want any condition can be given so it is not the case that if inside the if statement we can only have comparison statements like if a is greater than b or if a is equal to 0 or not we can have any expression inside it the main thing is inside if if the condition if uh, the answer is 0 uh, 0 is treated as false by the c language programming language and any other character any other uh, number that is 1 2 3 4 and so on any number rather than 0 is considered as true so printf statement will return as uh, 8 as there are 8 characters here so print this will print our name and it will return 8 so let's see the output okay we have not okay we have got our name yes so this is the method now let's see another question now in this question guys We'll see how to calculate the length of the string without using loop or any other string function. So we have give we are already uh, given the condition that we are not required to use loop. So what we have done here is we have used the first question co question of once concept. Uh, the printf statement will return the number of characters inside the uh, printf statement. So whatever input will give. Suppose I give input as Abhishek. Now in this question guys, we are supposed to tell the output of this question. So what will happen? Will it give a compilation error if I put a statement here before the case or will it execute? Will it print the case? Uh, will it print the default value that is nothing is clear? Or what will happen if I make this case as 5? Let's see what happens. Will it print the case 5? or it will print the case 10 or it is an error let's see let's run it you can see that the output is case 5 now how this is coming the thing is whenever you put any expression inside the switch statement it will not execute and compiler will totally ignore it you can see we can change the symbol we can say 5 plus uh, 2 or I can, you can say 5 plus 10 if we'll run this, it will also give the same answer. Now let's see what will happen if I'll give here a printf statement. Let's see printf hello. Now let's run this. You can see still it gives the same answer. So whether we put a printf statement or any expression which is related to any arithmetic operation so switch statement will not be affected compiler will ignore this statement so now let's see another question Turn 8 characters if I'll give here my name Abhishek so this will be assigned to the len variable so later on we can print the len variable let's see what's the output of this enter the scene let's say B you can see the output is length is 4 okay so by this method we can do this now let's see another question 
Now in this question guys, we are supposed to guess the out output. What do you think what will be the output? We have given an integer a as a is equal to 4 and we are printing the value of this percentage d a and we have given here a plus 1. Now what does this mean? Is it a compilation error or something? Now let's see what will the output. You can see the output is Dehradun. Now how this Dehradun has come, let's understand that the first statement int a is equals to 4 is not executed or we can say it does not play any role here. No role of the statement for this particular example. What happens is when we have given here plus 1 the compiler will print the value from the first index so this is the 0th index per percentage sign and the first index is d so it prints the whole string after this value so Dehradun is printed now let's see what will be the output if I'll change the number here let's say 4 if we'll say 4 so it will print from the fourth index so it will be the 0th first, second, third and fourth. So it will print R-A-D-U-N. You can see this is the output R-A-D-U-N. So this was another tricky question guys. So guys, if you have to learn something today, please like the like video, subscribe to the channel. Ko. And in future, we will we'll keep on bringing these videos like this. So give it a thumbs up and thank you for your support. Take care. Goodbye. Never give up.